Hi, it's Rob from the Bush and Balkan. Today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to paint grey robes and cloaks. If you'd like to support me, my coffee and Patreon page are linked below. Now on to the video. So this is the cloak that we're going to be working on. Now you can see it's quite rough around the edges and where the highlights are. This is by choice when I've been painting them. And looking at Gandalf's cloak, it is a bit rough and ragged around the edges. So we're going to start off this video by painting all the robes and the cloak with Citadel Mechanica Standard Grey. So just give it a nice smooth coat of that, then we can move on to the next colour. Next off, we're going to use Citadel Nuln Oil Shade. We're going to go over all of the Mechanica Standard Grey with this. I'm not going to be painting his hat in this video because I'm going to be doing that slightly different because it's a different colour to the rest of his cloak. So this is just the robes and also the cloaky bit at the back. Now we're going to return to Citadel Mechanica Standard Grey. What we're going to be doing here is working the colour back onto the miniature. So you can see on him you've got plenty of creases and ridges on the cloak. And what I'm trying to do is add on the areas that are flatter, like this big piece going down the side, I'm trying to add a little bit of detail on here by leaving some of the shades visible and painting some areas of the Mechanica Standard Grey in different layers. And then when the highlights come onto that, you'll find that you can add little details onto it to make it look like there's a bit more of a kind of pattern or highlights on there. So on these ridges on the arms and the back and all over it, you want to be putting the mechanic of standard grey back on and giving that a rough, not quite a blend, sort of feathering it into the null oil areas. You want to make sure you get each of those ridges and crests with the mechanical standard grey, just so you can get those highlights on there at a later point and it'll make those bits stand out a bit more once finished. So once you've finished the mechanic of standard grey, we're going to start with Citadel Dawnstone. We're going to start adding some details to the miniature using this. So first of all, you're going to highlight the mechanic of standard grey with it. You're going to paint about maybe 40-50% of each of the Mechanica Standard Grey areas with this, just so that you get that highlight. If you think about where the light is going to be catching the robes as well, you can add it to those areas just to make it stand out. Also, if you've got any areas where there's not that much detail or it's quite flat and smooth, you can add some little highlights and little lines in there just to give that a little bit more detail than it would otherwise have. So as you're going along here, you can see the highlights that I'm putting on are adding little bits of detail to it, things that maybe either aren't there or aren't showing up very well when you just look at the grey on the miniature. So this highlight really does bring out all of the details on the miniature and allows you to add some in the areas where it's a bit smooth, sort of at the sides of the cloak. So on the crests on the back, you want to be doing exactly the same thing, about 40-50% of the coverage of the Mechanica Standard Grey. And once you've done all that, we can go on to the next colour. So we're going to be using Citadel Administratum Grey for this one. And while we're going to be doing mainly edge highlights, you can also add a few little details to it. So where you've got like little nicks and maybe cuts and tears in the cloak, you can highlight them by painting a little thin line underneath them. So if that little bit to the left of where I'm brushing now, you've got a little nick in that vertical part of the cloak. And then also where you've got the smooth areas where there's no real detail, you can also use this to add that little bit of detail to the ridges and the troughs and things like that of the detail, or of the cloak rather. And make sure that you've got all those details standing out so that you can see them quite clearly. And it just makes the miniature look that little bit better rather than having some big smooth areas.
with that the miniature will be done. So this is the finished miniature once again. You can see the administratum grey highlighting those dawnstone areas and putting on those details to some of the flatter parts of the plastic, making the figure look great on the tabletop. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. Also, think about subscribing to some of our other social media, linked below. Thanks very much. If you like the channel and you enjoy the content and you'd like to support me, my coffee and Patreon pages are linked below. Thanks very much.